I was born in Cali, Colombia. Uh, when I was four, uh, we moved to Caracas, Venezuela. My mom, my dad, and my entire family to have a better future for us. We uh, had a, a great childhood until Chavez trying to do the first overthrow in the country. And when that happened, I remember vividly that one time I opened um, the door in my house and I see this big tank pointing directly to my house. And when I saw that, the first thing I, I, I thought was like, my family, the most precious thing I have is to, <clears throat> to take them out of there as soon as possible. I remember seeing my whole family in my living room, my mom, my dad, my three older sisters, my little brother, my little sister, and my dog. <laughs> and I said to everybody, we're moving to Miami. In that time, I had no plan. I had nothing else. And I said, we're gonna sell everything we could to move to Miami. Within myself, I remember that fear was not part of the equation. And I've always thought about, if fear is not part of the equation, there is nothing that success. I have nothing. All I have is the will to give the people that I love a better way of living. I remember we landed in Miami and we found a house in Little Havana. Uh, we bought a mattress for $800 in that time that it was a rob. But you know, it was the only pillow that we have so we can sleep on the floor. But I remember my mom and my dad always said to me, you know, either all together in the bed or, or all together on the floor. Just having my family with me was the most incredible source of, um, of will, determination. Uh, because again, you know, what sometimes you can in life you can get lazy as far as if you're comfortable with yourself, you know, you can do better tomorrow. But when you have the people that you love the most, you're like a freaking lion in Africa. You want to just defend and do the best you can do. I was basically the father and the mother for my entire family for four years until everybody was able to to start working and got all the papers and everything ready. Miami um, is a place where if you want a, a comfort life, very low pace, and you are happy with what you have, that's the place to be. In my case, since I was a kid, I always remember seeing the ads of Donna Karan, Ralph Lauren, Oscar de la Renta. And I will say, you know what, if they did it, why can't I? And I was eager. I didn't know how, I didn't know where, I didn't know where to start, but I needed to follow those steps. So that's when I decided to move to New York. I didn't know anybody. I just started working as a concierge of the Four Seasons, the peer. There was an executive of a big fashion house uh, being a guest. It was his birthday. My, my boss said to me, Raul, go buy a car. And I didn't want to go with a penguin uniform through Fifth Avenue. And I said, let me just, I'm always carrying crayons and papers. And I told my boss, how about if I do a car? When he talked to me, he said, Raul, you have an incredible eye for color. Are you happy here? And I told him, I want to be in the other side of the desk. And he gave me a chance because I think life is about determination, but also finding these places where you have only one chance and you cannot mess it up. Then I went and I started working for Liz Claybor, a huge corporation. I worked for Tommy Hilfiger when I was the sketcher. And boom, I get the big job that I'm always wanted to be, which is working for Oscar de la Renta. For the next five years, I was doing show after show, even though that I have no money to produce, or I was just selling a few pieces, 
And a lot of my friends would tell me, Raul, you're crazy. You cannot have an expensive hobby. Instead of eating three meals a day, I mean, and only two, I was just eating uh, leftovers of bread of a place called Cosi because um, that's all I have. I got to the point when I was basically sleeping in my own laundry. I didn't want to keep asking my friends for money because I had asked so much for money that you have your own pride. And in that moment, you know, something came on me and I said, you know, I have to, I have to find a job. I have to start from scratch. Five years after joining New Year Fashion Week, My goal is to become one of the pow biggest power fashion house in the world. I found this, uh, this ad of a company called Tiger Jet who needed a cat designer. I said, oh my God, I'm going. I got the job and thank God I started having money coming in to pay my rent and to, 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 to buy food. But it was basically the position I had 15 years earlier with the same salary and and I said I don't care uh, I, I'll do it I'll keep myself quiet and uh, well this company happened to be a manufacturer who has other brands and I remember having the phone call from the assistant saying Raul you know Mark is the owner I want to talk to you and I'm like oh my god I'm already fired as soon as I got into the office, he said to me, Raul, why you don't tell me you have a brand? And I said, you know, Mark, look at outside. And we are in the fashion business. And I said, you see all these other designers? I'm just trying to be one of those. And I'm not making any money. I'm not selling. I just, I just want to do my dream. And uh, I thought that I was fired. I'm like, I'm done. I'm going back to, you know, Miami. And these people are the people who are like taking me to the next level. I don't have the answers. I just know that I have a will to make it, to, 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 to do what I love. My mom said to me, uh, dream, vision, reality. She said, dream because we don't have too much money and dream is free. And it's, it's crazy to know that, you know, that tattoo is the one that I have um, here. And this is a reminder that, um, you know, you don't have to be, you don't have to hand uh, a book of how to do things, you just have to have the courage and the determination. I could not have done it with the people that surround me, with my assistants, with Dima as my casting director, Larry, which is the CEO, and all these people that from the beginning, uh, they believe in you. Chasing a dream is basically, I think, the, the result, but uh, for everyone, it would mean something different. In my case, chasing my dream was everything I have. Make sure. Follow, you chase, and you grab your dreams.